I hope you're all well. Welcome to my channel. This is where I talk about Twin Flame process and these are the monthly videos by Sunsign for August 2023. If anybody wants to get a more detailed personal reading or do a session you can contact me through my website and the link is in the description box below. Hope you all have a good month. See you in the next video. Bye. Aries, August 2023. Okay, uh, they're saying magic carpet ride. So you are, uh, they're actually showing me you are sat on a duck. <laughs> um, you will have in a tent, which is on the duck's back. And the duck is flying up into the sky and the duck is huge i have to say <laughs> um in relation to the human that's in it which is you you're not there alone either there's someone with you you're looking like characters out of a children's book so the person that's with you is a lion <laughs> um and that's representative of masculine energy so you are with your masculine and you are looking like a doll um kind of like a little Russian doll, something like that, and you're both sat on this duck's back, and you're flying off into fantasy land, they just said. Um, your magic carpet is arriving to take you there. So, um, Aries, you're going to be soaring high this month. They're also showing me um, like a crown, a wreath, which is about success, and feeling like royalty, I think it means as well feeling like, oh, this sounds really cheesy, feeling like a princess <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, like all your wishes come true, they're saying this month. And I've got you twirling around in front of a mirror, um, just like really filled with happiness and filled with joy, feeling like a child. They're showing me a rocking horse. And they're showing me lots of toys, basically. They're showing me loads of little toys, old-fashioned kind of toys children would have had. And they're saying you're just feeling like, a, you know, I guess when you're a little girl, you want to feel like a princess. It's that kind of thing. That's why they're saying that. Um, and you're twirling around in front of a mirror, just being really carefree, happy, dressed like a fairy, basically. Right, let's get um, cards out. A really cheerful month, they're saying. A really happy month. There's something really um, tender about this month as well. Um, you know when children talk to each other and they don't really know a lot when they're talking, you know, because they're, they're just young and, you, and they, their talk is really cute because they just have this like basic understanding of things. And they talk about really simple things, you know, like flavours of ice cream <laughs> that they like and that kind of stuff. It's just like this kind of childish kind of communication they're talking about coming in this month, which is almost like it's, there's something here they're saying it's got to be pinned down to like almost the level of frivolity. It can't go beyond anything that is um, just very, very kind of, tender and they show me like new growth like sh green shoots just very very you know when little uh, spring flowers come up and they're so delicate and they push through the snow because they've been dormant all winter and you you know the last thing you want to do is like go near them with like some great big boot and go stomping all over them because they're they're quite resilient yeah but you just want to respect the fact that it's new growth and, 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 and you know, it's not, it's not been seen for a really long time, they're saying. So something about the communication that you're going to be involved in this month that is just very light, very delicate, very a lot less than it could be. Less is more, they're saying, uh, in terms of communication. Um, and there's something here about we really respectfully communicating in a way that nobody gets triggered because somebody in this connection could get really triggered both could but they're saying one more than the other high priestess so we've got this energy like this loose free-flowing kind of energy of the high priestess which is what they're saying that you're like fairy like and like you know 
just spinning around, keeping it really loose and free and um, not stodgy or um, or grown up even or adult. The same things in the adult world can get really messy because adults overthink and they over communicate and they over they go overboard. They're saying so. This is like keeping it very very. And they're saying on the back foot. I'm not quite sure what that means. <laughs> if that means what they mean. <laughs> um, Page of Swords communication. And again, it's like this is snippets of communication. Snippets. Like texts and no pressure, they're saying. <coughs> Excuse me. Texts. It's not like long diatribes. It's very short, snippy snippets of conversation. <coughs> <coughs> uh, they're saying you will be finish, finishing communications kind of almost abruptly so as to not get bogged down in lengthy discussions um, and also not to it's something that you know when you're like um, if a bird lands in your hand you don't want to go moving your hand and trying to grab the bird because what happens you're either going to injure the bird or the bird's going to fly away as soon as you try and grab it. So something about just leaving your hand open and the bird's sitting in your hand and the bird's going to stay there in terms of communication. So it's just open, open communication, no end to it, they're saying. Um, it's not going to be like one constant long conversation in snippets. So it's, it's not going to end. I don't think there'll be any ending on the <laughs> on your emails or your texts. There won't be any like goodbye or see you later even or anything. It's just going to be open. Seven of Wands. We've got boundaries coming up and we've got also resistance. So maybe that's why they're saying everything has to be kept open and will be kept open because there is no closure when you keep everything open. Um, let's have a look. Six of Cups, you've got Reunion coming out in exactly the same position as Pisces. That came before. And Ace of Swords, brand new communication. And that is um, right in the heart of the reading. That did also come in, up in Pisces as well. I shuffled these really well. Shuffled them and I, when I put the cards back, I slot them in so they're never together. So I'll slot them in through the pack so they never come, come back, go back in together after a reading. Anyway, so you've got Ace of Swords, brand new communication, big time communication, starred right in the heart of the reading. And then we've got Nine of Swords, which is the ending to your frustration, they're saying. And that's in regard to the resistance as well. So ending in regard to resistance there. Um, let's go here. Rebirth, Empress, something being reborn in regard to what has been, there has been resistance, something been in the way of it, basically. Brand new communication, rebirth in terms of that. Um, let's just go here. Justice, they're saying harmony, justice is about equality, it's going to be harmonious communication. Um, everything is here is starred really well. It's going to be really light, bright, open, engaging communication. It's not going to feel dull. Um, it's going to be something that you want to keep going and engaged in. Um, co almost continual communication. It feels like. And then we've got also two people, two of pentacles. So somebody coming in from a higher level. So high priestess, which is your higher self, your vibrational self and also source. So it's somebody coming in who is a representative of source, basically. And the big one, the communication around that. So that's like your twin flame. And uh, we've got a reunion there, the ending to the frustration that you've been through in regard to that and the resistance. And something coming through that is um, going to just take the place, basically, of everything that has been, it feels like, in terms of 
uh, you know, how you couldn't communicate with this person before. Let's look underneath. Oh look, Knight of Swords coming underneath, so clarity coming. Uh, there's a lot of air in this reading as well. This is all air. Swords are air sign, air signs, right? So maybe it's an air sign for some of you. Or maybe it's just the air, you know, it feels like this um, air waves, like clean air. Like the communication is just going to be... Um, like an airflow basically it feels like I don't get any kind of energy of it stopping you know like um like anybody saying goodbye at any point it's like a door opening and then and the and the and the air just keeps coming through the door like the the voice just keeps coming the communication just keeps coming it's going to keep coming along coming along coming along but I don't get anything apart from that this month for you, I don't get anything like, there's no, apart from this person here and the two pentacles coming in, there's nothing else physical, it just feels like one long communication all month, and that it ends your frustration, so um, perhaps it's going to be just that, and that's what's going to happen this month, you have to see what, what next month is like I suppose, maybe next month will get more physical, so that's it. I'm going to leave you with that. I hope that helps. See you next time. Lots of love.